Hey everybody, it's Friday. Yay! Uh, a little bit overcast outside, but I see little hints of blue. Uh, rained a bit last night. It was actually rather nice this morning. Hopefully it'll be nice this weekend. No real big plans for this weekend, though we do have a star uh, circle tomorrow night. And hopefully the weather will be nice because it's going to be outside. If it's not nice, it'll be inside. Much nicer if it's outside. Uh, don't mind me, I'm sleepy, just had lunch. Uh, love the leftovers of steak and mashed potatoes from dinner last night. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, pity we didn't have any leftover mushrooms and onions, because we sautéed a bunch of those, but cremini's. Picked up some cremini's. They were the same price as the white button, so we went with the cremini's since they're baby portobellos. And I think have a much nicer flavor. Especially considering the fact that growing up I refused to eat mushrooms, but then again most of the mushrooms that I was presented with was the stuff that came out of the cans and jars. Yuck! No. Fresh only. And then only cooked barely. <sighs> so, as I said, Friday. Uh, gun show this weekend. We'll probably go, though I doubt we'll spend any money besides the entrance fee. Due to the fact that I've got Two doctor's appointments up in Spokane next week, Monday and Friday, off all day, the, at the allergy clinic. The Monday one is to find out is for um, venom, as in, say, yellow jackets. Because um, the last time I got stung, which was several years ago, my uh, throat started closing up. That was not fun. I had been stung before that, a few years before that, and... The, the, I mean, big swelling around the sting and everything went hard. Not a good sign. So, as is, um, I carry around an EpiPen. Now, according to the last test I went in, which was the, 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 the poking test, he said that it was for food allergies for was one of them. And I'm pretty sure he told my husband that, that, that when he asked that it was one of them was for seafood, and he said I wasn't allergic to anything food-wise, but I'll have to double-check. Because <laughs> if I'm not actually allergic to seafood, and that the symptoms that I would show that after eating it was purely coincidental, I am uh, have three years' worth of catching up of eating seafood, I can tell you that. Uh, it turns out I'm not allergic to seafood. I'm finding an all-you-can-eat seafood place. Shellfish, I should say. Because <laughs> I want shrimp. Oh, anything else this weekend? Well, I'm still waiting for the new camera. As of yesterday, it had gone through Salt Lake City. It probably won't be arriving here until Monday. Drats. But um, I won't be doing any more wandering about footage until we get it because and check it out and hopefully it will work as advertised because uh, one of the things it has it has a um, setting for it so when you're walking around with it it stays steady which will be nice oh excuse me God. <laughs> God, this is one thing I hate about having just eaten lunch I'm just so sleepy now uh, let's see what else. Oh, big surprise on the Scrapper Nikki front. Uh, Scrapper's been coming in every night, even though I do have to step out and haul him in, but he's been coming up and coming to the door. Well, last night we brought him in, and he went and settled himself down on the couch, and I settled myself right next to him, and Nikki settled himself across the room, glaring. Wasn't real thrilled. Well, he eventually came to sit below the couch, glaring, and I kind of, come here, come on, Nikki, come on, jump up in my lap. Well, I wasn't expecting him to jump up in my lap, because he'll usually get a disgusted look and wander off. Well, he jumped into my lap, and then he curled up and snuggled up with me, less than a foot away from Scrapper. In fact, I shifted just enough that his foot was resting on Scrapper's, on Scrapper's back. And he kind of looked, looked over at Scrapper, and went back to sleep. 
So we sat like that for quite a while, no hissing, no growling. So I think Nikki has given in to the inevitability that Scrapper is going is here to stay. Um, Hubby and I are both have given in to the inevitability that Scrapper is here to stay. He's our baby cat now. Which, however, means that we're seriously overbalanced on the male-female ratio, since we have three males to one female. Uh, but we are have even numbers of cats with four kitties now, so that kind of balances that out. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Scrapper has been pretty much ignoring Kiki, which is fine. Uh, I think Kiki actually came up and sniffed at him and then wandered off. So... So we're, 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 we got that. He does like to go out in the morning. Uh, he still is occasionally making the, the I want to go out now at night, but I've been keeping him in because I really want to emphasize to him that he's, <laughs> he's ours. <laughs> he's living at home. Uh, once the weather gets nice enough and everything like that, we can leave the one window open so the cats can go in and out all the time if they want, which is really nice, and then I don't have to keep cleaning litter boxes. <laughs> if I get just teach all of them to use the toilet, I would be so happy. Um, they're going to have to tackle Rum Tum at some point this weekend. I think one of them is going to hold him down while one of us goes after him with the dematting comb. He's getting really matted up like crazy. It wouldn't be so bad if he would, like, let me comb him, but he's got to, when you start grooming him, he likes to wrap himself around your hand and lick you, which is really annoying. And, of course, he grabs on strongly with claws, which is one reason why <laughs> I'm getting, <laughs> I'm bleeding all over the place, because I've got all these lovely scratches. <sighs> oh, well, the fun and joys of living with kitties. Well, break's about over. Time to wander back. Look forward to a nice quiet weekend. Still have got to get my butt in gear and get the living room decluttered because we got our friends coming with their niece in a couple weeks. And definitely need to get that done. And then start sh shopping for, for baby gates to close the kitchen off since we have no doors to the kitchen. Okay, well, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.